Hey all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today we're gonna to be starting out our, uh, doing one of our Teaching Tuesday videos. It's just gonna be about what's the best way to sear. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna do different sear methods with these. One of them, you know, two of these are gonna be seared the same for another video because I want them to be exactly the same. But these other two, we're gonna try and sear different ways. So one of them we're gonna sear on the flat top griddle, and one of them we'll use the sears all. And then the other ones, we're gonna do it on the sear box on our Camp Chef. So we're gonna do three different types of sears, see which one turns out best in this video. And I'll be right back. Steaks are almost done in the sous vide bath. And what we're gonna do with them is we're gonna sear them three different ways. First, we're gonna like do said, it on the sear box, and those are the ones we're gonna compare. And then we're gonna sear on a griddle on the um, Kamado Joe Big Joe. And that's also gonna be, you know, you could actually use this as you're searing in a cast iron skillet on the oven, you know, on the stove or on the grill as well. It's the same type of thing. And then we're gonna sear one with the searsol, see how that turns out. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna pull those steaks out and all my uh, heating devices out there are all ready to go. So I will meet you guys back outside. I'm gonna go ahead and take a taste test. And like I said, these two were cooked on the sear box, on a gas sear box on the Camp Chef. This one was done on the griddle on the Kamado Joe, and this one was on the sears all. So I'm gonna go ahead and taste. I already tasted these two before for the other video, but just to be fair, I'm gonna taste them again. Just so you guys can see, it's perfect medium rare on this one cooked on that sear box at around 750 800 degrees mm. but pretty good sear is really good on this one i'm going to cut just a smaller piece on this one and show you the crust on this one is a lot darker and it's a lot more uniform than the other one and this medium rare as well And these are all done with duck fat. So. You can definitely, definitely taste uh, that crust on there a little bit more. It's a little bit more beefy because of that darker crust on it. It tastes a lot, you know, I don't know, more punch to it. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and cut. I'll cut this small piece off. It's one that was done on the sears all. 
And as you can tell, this one on the Sears all really didn't take the didn't take the um, sear that well. I might even go finish this back on the grill. And as you can tell, it really didn't get that overall crust like the other one did. It is medium rare, of course, because um, that flame didn't really penetrate. But I can just tell from this overall body of the steak that it's only charred in a couple spots. And it definitely tastes a lot flatter. It doesn't have a, as much of a rich taste as these do. But there you go, guys. I suggest you either sear in a cast iron pan, cast iron griddle, on a hot, hot sear box, hot, hot grill. The sears all, if you have to, if you're in an apartment, if you have no other access to any other hotter method, um, it works. But best way to do it on a grill, on a griddle, in a cast iron pan, as hot as you can get it, 650 to 700 degrees. The grill also is great if you can get it up to 700 degrees. But there you go. Thanks for watching. Hope these videos help you out. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.